talked about. We hear the stories of people living with pain. As if somebody stuck a cattle prod to the side of my face. And we talk to medical experts about the best way to manage pain. There are so many things that do help. You have the ability to change it. A Life of Pain. Watch on BBC iPlayer. This is BBC News, I'm Joanna Gosling. The headlines at midday. It's confirmed Boris Johnson will not be receiving any more fines for breaking COVID regulations at Downing Street and Whitehall after already paying one for a gathering marking his birthday in June 2020. It comes as the Metropolitan Police complete their investigation into the alleged breaches, issuing a total of 126 fines. Ministers face calls to increase benefits and state pensions now to help people struggling with the surging cost of living. The Chancellor says he knows things are challenging and says he's ready to do more to help people. The next few months will be tough. But where we can act, we will. More than 1,700 people have left the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol since the start of the week, with around 700 leaving in the past 24 hours. Coming up, we're going to be answering all of your questions on the war in Ukraine in a special programme at 12.30. Meet the Thwaites, Britain's biggest ever Euro Millions winners who've gone public after scooping £184 million. Pounds. It's not really for us. <laughs> we, 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 we want to share this. Our, we, we, our friends and our families, loads of people close to us, really helped us, got us through a lot, and we want to be able to pass that back. And soul legend Diana Ross, Queen, and Duran Duran are among the star studded lineup for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee concert. Good afternoon. The Metropolitan Police say their investigation into alleged breaches of COVID regulations at Downing Street and Whitehall is complete. The BBC understands the Prime Minister, who was fined last month over a birthday party at Downing Street, will not be receiving any more fines. In a statement, the Met said detectives had fined a total of 126 people, with some receiving multiple fixed penalty notices. An inquiry by the senior civil servant Sue Gray in